subscribe and press the bell icon to get notified for the latest tech videos hey what's up youtube this is wasse here and today in this video i'm going to show you how you can connect your apple watch se to your iphone so let's begin the tutorial so here i have the apple watch se so before i begin the setup i should tell you that you need to have minimum ios 14 on your iphone so the minimum required in order to connect apple watch se to your iphone is that you need to have ios 14 so how you can check your iphone's ios that's very simple all you need to do is to open settings of your iphone you need to go down where it says general and then you need to go on the about section so here on the second you can see software version and mine is currently 14.2 so i have an ios version greater than ios 14.0 so that means i can connect my apple watch se to my iphone if you have version lower than ios 14.0 then you can't connect it with your iphone so after updating or your ios all you need to do is to enable bluetooth and you need to make sure either you have wi-fi connected or data connection and now we're going to power on the apple watch itself long pressing the power button we got the apple logo bring uh, iphone near to apple watch so i'm bringing it near and hopefully it should detect it automatically as you can see use your iphone to set up apple watch so i'm going to press on continue so you can set it up for yourself or you can set it up for your family members so i'm going to set it up for myself so now you need to scan the qr code as you are going to see on your apple watch so it's very simple all you need to do is to put it like this and it will start scanning it okay set up apple watch okay now you need to select the wrist preference that you want so I like to wear on the right side and it's loading on the top right as you can see. Okay, digital crown orientation. I'm going to set it up as top continue. And here on the Apple watch, it's showing that it was setting up the language as well. So you're going to accept the terms and conditions after reading it. After reading, I'm going to press on agree signing into your account this may take a few minutes so i'm just going to put it on the table okay now we just need to wait until it signs into my apple account okay workout route tracking so if you want to enable route tracking you can enable it but i'm just going to disable it for now you can enable it again later siri okay shared settings okay and you can set the text size as well if you are going to see on the screen so i'm just going to increase it a little bit so that i can see much better i'm going to press on continue so if you want to create a passcode for your apple watch as well you can do so but i don't want a password or passcode so i'm going to press on don't add passcode so you can set up activity after that as well if you're more into sports so we're going to press on setup activity so here you need to enter all of your dates so i'm just going to skip these details for now i'm going to press on skip this tab if you want your apple watch to update itself automatically you're going to press on continue but if you want yourself to allow when you want to update the ios of your apple watch then you're going to press on install updates manually emergency sos install all so i'm going to install all the apps that are available uh, the apps that I don't like I'm just going to delete them so it's going to download all the watch Apple watch basic apps so you can see Apple watch is syncing and you're going to also get a loadation bar on the top left corner of the Apple watch as well so as the Apple watch is syncing we can go through this quick tutorial as well Apple watch basics first of all you're going to press on display so it will show you how you can display and it's a uh, more of a small tutorial you can then go to digital ground to see what the digital crown does so press and hold to talk to siri turn to scroll down etc and what the side button does so it's more of a tutorial 
and you're going to need to read all this so that you know better but again it's still taking some time to sync the watch so we're going to wait until the synchronization process is completed okay the synchronization process has been completed i think it took around like five to ten minutes or so so i'm just going to press ok from here and uh, for the apple watch all you're going to do is you're going to press the digital ground and you will have this haptic feedback as well so this is the default watch phase you can uh, you will have obviously you can change the watch phase as well if you want so that's all in, on how you can connect your apple watch sc to your iphone so guys if you like this video please give this video a thumbs up if you have any kind of questions regarding this video write them in the comment section below and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do so other than that thank you for watching and stay safe